with separating heaven and earth. And from the feet, one connected flow, one hand goes down, another up, but relaxing, right? Relaxing. Experience the stretch, and then experience the relaxation. Breathing naturally. See that your breathing doesn't stop. So for this you need to empty the chest, allow your diaphragm, your solar plexus to go down. Very good. And now, those hands will go down and we will collect. Okay. To the fingertips and to the feet at the same time. And then from the feet start relaxing. Okay. Now I suggest you have a seat maybe have a drink and let's speak a bit about this about this exercise so separating heaven and earth so it actually what it does it gently massages and stretches the area of the intestines, the area of the stomach and spleen. And this area is actually very important because it is our lower dantian. You know, in Tai Chi, in Qigong, we relate to dantian as a condensed bowl here below the belly button, two, five fingertips below the belly button and in. Something which we need to bring into life with our practice. So the whole movement is integrated around this dantian. But in Chinese medicine, we can relate to the whole abdominal cavity as dantian. Lower dantian. There are three dantians, but we are speaking today about lower dantian. The name dantian is translated as field of elixir or field of health. Uh, Fito told me the story that dan in Chinese, this is how a pill was called. A pill made of dried herbs medical herbs, yeah, and this was associated with the health. So this gave name Dan Tian, field of health. In uh, acupuncture, this area or, or point of Dan Tian called Chi Hai, Sea of Chi. And I want to a bit in explain why we call it actually reservoir of chi, why energy is here. Actually, it's very easy from an anatomical point of view. This area of stomach and intestines is where the transformation happens from the food to clear liquids in the body. Okay, this is why so this is why 
is this the main energy storage of the body and you know when this energy is when you have a full energy you have a lot of energy yeah you feel an inner expansion pressure inside which put organs in place yeah it's not this kind of full which you have after beer okay it's another kind of full which you feel fullness from here it expands and pressure and put the organs in place and organs then can function better otherwise what can happen is that eventually organs start collapsing yeah and we can see people older people or people who are not feeling well they a bit kind of collapsed like this going right and organs start meeting one another and this generate heat generates mucus okay so this is what we want to avoid and we avoid it by practicing by feeling the reservoir with chi by making the area of dantian our intestines our stomach our spleen to function proper also i would like to relate to this exercise from another point of view as well this exercise is actually element of earth yeah those of you who know five elements qigong we have exactly the same exercise in five elements qigong this is third exercise right uh, and you know Tai Chi was not called Tai Chi in the beginning. Yeah, it's relatively recent name, maybe end of 19th century, it was called Tai Chi, I'm not sure. Before this, it was known as certain techniques, certain postures, it was called. And this certain techniques, postures, is actually eight techniques and five directions. Yeah, and if it's interesting, we can maybe another time speak a bit about it. In Chinese medicine, eight techniques are eight three grams, or we call them ba gua or ba men, eight gates, like Ming Meng, which we spoke gate of life, ba men, eight gates. And five directions, five elements. Okay. So, by the way, it was mentioning that gates and elements, it's not something material. It symbolizes phases which energy goes when it transforms, phases of transformation of energy. Now, this exercise is earth element. Now, from gate, from eight gates point of view, from Bagua points of view, let's look on this. So, earth, what it relates to? It relates to potential, to yet formless desires. Yeah. So, for example, in nature, let's like take a look in nature. In winter. We have seeds in the ground. Yeah, this is the potential. And as spring starts, warms, water comes, and there is a breakthrough. Life goes through, breaks through. This is in Bagua, next phase after the earth is thunder. Yeah. On a human aspect, we can look, for example, on yet formless desires. Yeah, so we as human sometimes have this feeling we want something, but we don't know what exactly. It's still yet formless desire. This is the earth. And then suddenly we realize, or we objectify this feeling, yeah? We attach to it a form, a direction. Now we know what we want. This is the thunder. 
And then intention appears how to achieve the fulfillment of the desire. Yeah, this is fire in Bagua. And then we reach at fulfillment of the desire. We got what we want and we feel happy. And this is like lake. We have silence, we have depths and we are happy. Now, it's very common mistake. We all do the same. We think that this silence and depth comes from, from, from fulfillment of the desire. Yeah, we had the desire, we struggled, we achieved what we want, we are happy. And this is a huge mistake because then we want to feel happy again. What we do, we generate a new desire. We run after the desire and again. So it's kind of proven. Every time we fulfill the desire, we feel happy. We don't fulfill the desire, we feel unhappy. But actually, if you look, truly look into the matter, you will see that fulfillment of the desire is not what makes you happy. What makes you happy is the absence of the desire which appears temporary once the desire was fulfilled. This emptiness, yeah, this no thing is the silence and the depth. Presence of being. And then you're naturally happy. This is why many spiritual teachings suggest Surrender the desires, and then you're naturally at peace. I give this analogy, you know, guys, that the desire, and sorry for this analogy, but this is very, I think, illustrative. The desire is like wanting very much to go to the toilet. Yeah, so you want to go to the toilet, but there is no toilet around, and people everywhere, and you suffer. And you look for the toilet where it is, and you look for the fulfillment of the desire. And you take time, let's say it takes a lot of time, so you suffer even more, more, more. Then you find the toilet, fulfillment of the desire. And there is a happiness, right? Natural happiness. So, yeah. So actually, this no thing, when you pay attention to the no thing, or you pay attention to nothing, right? Then you're at peace. Explore that, inquire into that. Anyway, let's continue with our matter. From five elements point of view, the earth is central equilibrium. Central equilibrium, which is there, should be all the time. In any direction, in any movement in Tai Chi, for example, we want to have central equilibrium. Also, in our movement, in the movement that we are exploring, in the movement, we have the central line, remember? And hands, both palms touching the center line. And then the left arm touching the center line. Touching the center line. Touching the center line. Now, if it's difficult, it's, you can open slightly, but generally speaking, you should remember about the central line, crown of the head, pyramid, and And if continuing to speak about the movement, and then maybe I'll, be, I'll show you the meridians as well. So when you open, yeah, you naturally have your tailbone tucking out a bit. Your abdomen is gently stretched and pulled in. The lower abdomen is pulled in. Area of stomach and spleen is stretched. 
and perineum this is internal perineum gently pulls in not with force more with intention pulls in and then you relax and the lower back opens ming man gate of life opens yeah open and then gate of life opens so you can pay attention now to these things you know people sometimes suffer from from lower back pain problems because they don't activate enough the inner muscles of the lower abdomen of the perineum of yeah inner muscle of perineum and lower abdomen all right what else yeah i also wanted to show you the meridians so let's take another moment and look on the meridians i'll share a screen with you now so let's have a look element of earth is actually stomach and spleen stomach is the young organ and spleen is a yin organ let's have a look you see so this actually what we open what we stretch look again and you see this point you can really feel this point is very easy to feel when you bring the hand up and open so we open you see the whole area of abdomen of abdomen abdominal cavity is stretched here gently stretched and then the meridian of stomach continues on the legs as well and it's possible to feel this as well if you are listening if you are sensitive and relaxing it's possible to feel the meridian in legs it's more difficult than in hands though. takes more time and spleen meridian the complementary so it goes on the inner side of the leg changes side and then goes again up So you see, but these are meridians which go on the legs, yeah? But we also have the meridians on the hands. Obviously, this exercise emphasis on earth, stomach and spleen, but we spoke about area of the lower, area of the abdomen. So area of the intestines. So if you remember from previous lesson, large intestine channel, metal element. Remember we spoke about this last time when we pull the ball, string of the ball to shoot an arrow. Yeah, this is the metal element, the large intestine meridian. So if you feel, you pay attention to, if you try pay attention, you will feel that you are stretching this meridian as well. So you, let's have a look quickly again. large intestine metal young so on the hands this is definitely stretching as well and obviously something we didn't speak with you yet fire element is as well here is a small intestine on the hands you can really feel on the pinky finger 
you can feel the stretch on the fingers it's easier to feel the meridians so you can pay attention to your fingers okay stop sharing and a couple of times open feel your tailbone attacking naturally your abdomen pulls slightly in and perineum as well experience the stretch and then start relaxing and now tailbone goes down and tucks back in, right? So you mean mango press. And breathing. Relax. Let go of the muscles, tensions. And again, experience the stretch and experience the relaxation. And let's collect. Open, 